Well, if you want to undervolt your i7 13700 or 13700F for more performance, lower temperature, lower power consumption, lower noise, and a smoother gaming experience, this is the right video for you. So this video is actually going to work for every locked 13th and 14th gen i7. If you do have an unlocked CPU, so basically a K or KF CPU, like a 13700K or 13700KF, then I do have a dedicated video for you guys and I do recommend you go and check out these instead. But for locked CPUs, you're in the right spot. This will actually translate pretty linearly even to the i5-14600 non-K version, in case you're interested. Now, little disclaimer. We are using an MSI motherboard today in the BIOS, but this tutorial will work for every single brand of motherboard out there, but the settings will be slightly different. So in case you have like an ASUS Gigabyte ASRock board, I recommend you go in my CPU undervolting playlist and cross-reference these settings with the ones I give for other CPUs, but with your brand of motherboards, because the naming will be a little bit different. I will also try in the video to be as precise as possible. Now, before we go into the BIOS, and uh, yes, we will do everything in the BIOS itself, so please go in there, just turn on your PC and spam the delete key. Promise me one thing, if the video ends up being helpful, you will drop a like and a sub to support the channel, okay? With that said, let's go ahead. Okay, so here we are in the BIOS. Now, this is the easy mode. Some BIOSes will have this by pressing F7, or in some BIOSes, F6 or F5, you can go in the advanced mode, which is what we want. Now, we want to go in the overclocking tab, which, depending on the motherboard, might be called AI Tweaker or Tweaker or something like that, okay? So let's go into there, and then if we have an overclocking explorer mode, we want to set it to expert. If we don't have it, doesn't matter. Now, the best settings I do recommend is a dynamic undervolt. We will have basically two different presets for you guys which basically are the same. We just change one simple setting. So one preset, which is the first I'm gonna do, is gonna be for those of you who want the absolute best performance. You will still get some of the benefits of undervolting, but you will mostly get more performance. So for the first preset, the one I'm gonna be doing now, you are gonna be needing a good CPU cooler, like a water cooler, okay? Or a very good air cooler. But if you're just here to reduce your temperature, reduce your noise, etc., the second preset will be for you guys. So let's go. Now, first thing you want to do, uh, there are many ways to do this, but we will keep it simple. If you have something called CPU cooler tuning or like cooler tweak or something like that, you want to basically put it to the highest in wattage. In my case, water cooler. So that's the first thing you want to change. But if you don't have these settings, here's how you change it. You go in advanced CPU configuration and you want to find the long duration power limit. And close to that is going to be all the other power limits. And now you want to put all nines to unlock all of these to the maximum. All of those. So basically, long duration power limit, long duration maintained, short duration power limit, CPU current limit. Unlock all of these to the maximum. Then go back in the previous tab. We want to go all the way down. I will mention uh, XMP later on. Then we want to go all the way down until we find the voltage setting right there. And we want to go into the CPU core voltage offset mode and select minus. On some motherboard, you first have to select that you do want an offset, if it makes sense. So for example, you will click enter and select offset. But in this motherboard, you can only do offset. So you want to put the minus sign and then go into here and type 0 0.05. Okay. In some motherboards, you will have to put the minus sign right into your offset. You don't have a separate tab as well. So keep that in mind. After doing all of this, the main preset is basically finished, but this will not be stable for everybody. So you need to test it out. Now, 0 0.05 in my testing will work for 90% of CPUs, but on some, if you're really unlucky, you want to put 0 0.03. This will work for everybody, okay? But you will get less gain. If you feel very lucky, and if you have the time to test this thing out in Windows, very good CPUs will be able to do 0 0.075 successfully. But you have to be very lucky for this to work, to be honest. It's pretty aggressive undervolt. Now, this is the first preset, and it's basically done, okay? So again, I recommend 0 0.05 to start out, and then you test it. One extra word is XMP, okay? So you want to have this enabled. 
in general. Just enable it and test it. But do this separately from your Undervolt because you want to test if your XMP is actually working because it's a RAM overclocking. It's not guaranteed to work. So enable it by itself, test it out, and then do the Undervolt later. Second preset time. If you want lower temperature, mostly, you want to go into CPU cooler tuning if you have it and put either tower air cooler and test it out or if you have a very bad cooler, you want to put the box cooler. Now, no worries, because this is not actually going to decrease your performance in games because we are putting an offset. So we are decreasing the power limit threshold because our CPU is going to actually run at lower wattage. So we will hit the power limit slower. But this is what you want to do. And of course, you don't want to do all this. You want to put this on auto, pretty much. Like it was in the beginning, if it makes sense. So this is for efficiency, again. If you don't have this cooler tuning option here, you can also go into advanced CPU configuration and basically just set manually your wattage here. You want to have basically in the long duration something like 90 watts. You want to set it basically to how much TDP your cooler can run, if you want to cross-reference, but you can just copy my settings again. And then here in general, on the short duration to have a burst, you want to put like 200 watts, roughly, 150. Really depends on you. Uh, but uh, yes, but then after doing that, the offset is the same. So still you go into here minus 0 0.050 and the undervolting is now fully done. Please try it out. Let me know in the comments if it works or if you have any issues and for anything, I'm here to help you guys. And uh, please remember your promise, drop a like and a sub if it was helpful. And if you want on the channel, I also have GPU undervolting guides and I do budget builds showing you guys how to build very good gaming PCs for cheap. See you in the next one. Bye.